So last week we had a look at our towing hardware, and now we're actually going to get hooked up and get ready to get on the road. So right now we're backing into our trailer, and a nice thing today is that most new vehicles have got backup cameras. So I can actually see my hitch ball, and I'm going to put it right underneath the receiver like that, pop her in park, and I'll meet you at the back end. All hookups are the same, and they all have the same basic components. So we've already seen the actual hitch. In this case, we've got our ball here. Now, this is the receiver, or the coupler, and we're going to lower this onto the ball, put this in place, which just simply locks it. Our safety chains, as we mentioned before, are going to simply hook up to the rings that the manufacturer has already provided to us. And last but not least is our power. We need power for our lights, for our brakes, and in this particular case, also for the landing gear. The weight of the trailer, what they call tongue weight, is now settling onto the vehicle. You'll see it drop an inch or two. So the coupler is on the ball. However, this is a safety latch. This trailer is pulling in this direction. Were you to hit a heavy bump where this was pushing up, this stops this from coming off the ball. However, it won't do that if you don't lock it into place. So the last thing we're going to look at safety-wise is the trailer brake breakaway controller. This wire is attached to a switch, and you are going to attach the wire just over here to the safety chains. If this connection should get uncoupled, this pulls a pin, the trailer brakes automatically come on and stops the unit. All right, so we're hooked up and we're ready to go, right? No, not right, because when you're towing, you want to check and you want to double check. So right now what we're going to do is called a circle check. And that is something that's been done in the trucking industry since the beginning. And pretty much anybody that tows anything knows that you want to check your connections again. And then you want to walk around this trailer. So let's do that. So even though I've just done this hookup, I'm going to stop here once again. I'm going to look and make sure that my safety pins are in place. My hitch looks good. My bolt's there, none of the wires are compromised, and that my landing gear is up. So I'm good here. Now, I'm gonna start walking along. Before I left the cab of the truck, I turned on my lights and my four-way flashers. So I can check here, and I can see my lights are on. As I walk along, I make sure that the caps are on tight, doors are closed, windows are closed. I get to the tire, just kick it. If it doesn't go flat on you, you're probably okay. Again, doors, caps, covers. And even though we didn't have these down, these are stabilizer jacks, and you'd be surprised how many people leave them down when they try to leave. And then, of course, they have bent stabilizer jacks. Once you get to the back of the trailer, marker lights. If your four ways are working, then that generally means that your brake lights and your signals are working. So, we work our way around to the other side, and again, the same thing. Doors closed, everything is in place, tires good, windows closed, vents are closed, awning. You'd be surprised how many people will leave these loose, and they come off on the 401. You've seen them on the side of the road. Make sure this is locked into place. Work your way all the way back. Once again, these are propane covers. They should be fixed. Battery box, it's held in place. Now we can go. Particularly if you're a newbie, practice. Do this a couple of days beforehand. Make sure you know how everything works. Do a couple of dry runs. So next week, we're actually gonna be going down the road. We'll show you how this rig drives, and I'll give you some tips on safely getting to your summer fun destination. So here's the question, where were you 32 years ago? I know some of you weren't even a glint in your father's eye. As for me, well, I was in diapers, but found time to get motoring TV off the ground. And today I like to think we've got one of the best automotive video libraries in the world. If you agree, please give us the thumbs up, 
and also subscribe. We really appreciate it.